Okay, I'm working on my 93 Chevy truck today. I want to uh, shorten up these wires and and uh, make some better connections on them. Maybe get rid of that. This is the power for the uh, brakes. Comes in here from the battery. Goes through the solenoid to this side. This wire goes to the back. This is the wire that turns the solenoid on, which is activated by the key on right here. So as soon as the key is on, it powers this up, connects these two, and then I get uh, 12 volts on my red wire all the way to the back. And then also I've got a blue wire here that, that runs inside to the brake controller and runs to the back from the brake controller. So it goes, it's inside the truck. It runs to the brake controller, through the firewall, to the back of the truck. So I'm gonna straighten out all this wiring. I didn't do this, it came with the truck. I'm gonna straighten out the wiring back in here too. This is the blue wire that goes to the back, um, plug in the back of the truck. And this is the one that goes to that solenoid. Actually goes to the power side of the solenoid. It always has 12 volts. Uh, that's what they use for a ground. They came off the cigarette lighter for that. And this one here is the uh, powered up when you push the brakes. I don't know where they tapped in for that. Kind of dark in there. So when I look at the back here, it's all been wired with uh, wire nuts and and these uh, scotch lock things. Kind of a rat's nest. Let's see if I can get my light up there. I don't know if I can or not. <clears throat> So there's the up there these two connectors up here from the wire you know on the truck these are the two wires that run from the brake controller well for the brake controller the blue one that runs from the controller itself and the red one that's powered on when that solenoid uh, gets power and all those wires come into here, come over here and come out to a, a plug at the back of the truck. So I'm going to replace this bracket, take this wire out, take it over the table and uh, wire it to my new plug. This is what I think is causing my parasitic draw and possibly why the brake controller went bad. If you can see that or not, let's see if I get some light. See all that corrosion right there between the two wires, the blue and the white. The white is a ground and the blue is from the controller. You can see that when it's all discolored and you know bad. Just a cheap plug. Uh, the wiring. I'm gonna wire the new one up the same as this one. Hopefully that will might be why the controller went bad. This is the new plug I'm putting in. It's got uh Nice brass contacts. It's made by that company there. If you can see that. This one's actually probably from somewhere in the 90s. This is the old one here. This is the brake controller I'm going to put in. This is from sometime in the 90s too. It was a new one that was never used. I'm 
got some butt splices that are heat shrink on them. There's the bracket. It's also an older bracket, $1.59. I think that was probably from back in 1995, something like that, when that was bought and when this controller was bought. And that plug. But they still make this plug with these better contacts. I looked online, they're about 14 bucks. See if we can get this out of the box here. Okay, there's the controller. Looks like that. knob on the side it's got an adjustment here that you put it in your vehicle and then you adjust this per some instructions to uh, so it's kind of straight up and down or vertical I mean there's an adjustment procedure red light you got this manual switch here wiring colors are all the same bracket there's some screws in there okay, and a warranty card it's probably not any good anymore there's the screws and this is the way they had put the bracket on the panel see they screwed it right through there and panel. So I'll have to figure out how I'm going to mount the new bracket so it doesn't get loose like this one. Maybe these cheap plastic parts in the Chevy that are all break. Like that one, you see it's broken right there. And I'm going to bring that wire over to the table here and wire this one up. The, the color code on this thing doesn't match the way the wires from this are going on. This is for a trailer, utility trailer. These might be color codes for a, like a fifth wheel or travel trailer because they're wired differently um, between a utility trailer and a travel trailer. And we got all, all cleaned up there, shortened up the wires, little heat shrink butt connection. Tied it back and decided not to do anything with this connection. Should be fine. I got them all tied up though. So now we go ahead and put in the brake controller. This is the brake controller I'm putting in. It's from about 1995, and I can't find a wiring diagram for it anymore. It wasn't one in the box. So I looked up uh, Kelsey Hayes' other brake controllers, one that was close to this one. And they say ground is white, stop is red, the one that goes to your brake lights. When you push your brake pedal, you get 12 volts. Black is positive and blue is the trailer. So I've got my white grounded right here. This is my 12 volts. This is my trailer brakes. And this is the uh, one that gets 12 volts when you push the brake pedal. So colors won't exactly match up because your black goes to the red. The blue will match up and then the red goes to the one that gets 12 volts when you break and this is how i mounted it on there just two bolts and i'll just sit up in here like this i'll finish wiring this thing up and then Show you what it looks like.
Got my wires hooked up now. My black to my red. Blue to blue. And the red to the the one that's hooked to the brakes and the ground's up there. And so now if I go ahead and push the brake pedal, I get a light on that now. So I guess that's working. And then that works. There's a lever on the side of this that you have to adjust when you put it up in the car. I'll show that in a minute. At least I'll... They're saying this is going to be kind of up like this. It's going to look like that. And so what they say generally, this lever is straight up and down. But I think the way you do it is you have to... Uh, hook the trailer up and move this until this light glows real dim or something. I have to go read up on that somewhere. That's what it's going to look like. Let me get the light out of here. We can see what it looks like. Put this up here and tie these wires up. Okay, we're all done with the installation of the brake controller. Mounted it right there. Light works when you do that. Push the brake, the light works. I mounted it far enough over so I can still open this up and not hit anything. The wires uh, run that way. You can see that. Look underneath there. Got them all tucked up real nice and neat. My blue and my red wire run through here, up along there, my ground wire, the white wire is back there, everything tied up as nice and neat as I can, there's no rat's nest up here. Don't have a cover for that, never has had one since I've owned it. So, now we'd have to hook it up to a trailer and see if it works and adjust it.